Do you get sore shoulders? Do you get some pain or discomfort and struggle to lift objects up overhead? Maybe you already know that you can improve your lifting strength by increasing shoulder mobility and stability. If any of those are on your mind, then this video is for you. Welcome back. Vaughn here from Longevity Plus, guiding you towards longevity and an active life. The exercise I just showed you is a combination between a supine serratus press and a supine serratus scoop. But don't worry about those fancy names. Let's just call it a shoulder bandy thingy. Now, if you've got a short attention span and you only intend to watch this video for 30 seconds, I recommend you start doing that exercise now. Your shoulders are going to love you for it. They love me. But if you're willing to wait for all the good bits, stick around. Stick around. few go-to exercises that I recommend for the varied complaints that clients and students come to me with. This singular exercise is the one that tends to get the fastest and best results for the majority of these. But why did I want to talk about this exercise today? Well, I realized that this is an exercise that I do twice a week, even without shoulder complaints. Yes, it's great for sore and tight shoulders, but it shouldn't stop there. It's an exercise that should be in your toolbox and used regularly. Remember the focus of this channel is helping us to stay active longer, allowing our bodies and our minds to keep enjoying the things we love. First, let's look at the muscles we're working in this exercise. The biggie is the serratus anterior. Some people call it the boxer's muscle. This could be the most important muscle in the shoulder complex. Some of the other muscles we're working, rhomboids, rotator cuff muscles, the mid and the lower trap. What do these muscles have in common? They help to stabilize and control the shoulder complex during movement. They also play an important role for postural support. Many of us are hunched over computers all day, on our phones, maybe driving long distance. If we attack these muscles correctly, we can see an improvement in posture, lessening of pain, especially in overhead movements. It's not dancing, by the way. It's like lifting something up overhead. As mentioned earlier, if you're not having discomfort or posture issues, I still recommend you start doing this exercise. One, it could prevent issues in the future. Two, a strong and supportive shoulder can help you lift heavier, if that's what you want. Remember this guy? Come on, come on, or simply help you with your daily tasks. What I want to go into detail about today is the serratus anterior. That is the main muscle that's being benefited when you're doing these shoulder bandy things. Let's list the serratus anterior's main functions and why we can benefit from ensuring we keep it strong. Scapular protraction. The primary function of the serratus anterior is to protract or move the scapula forward and around the ribcage. This action is especially important when doing movements like pushing objects away from you or reaching forward. Think punching or throwing a ball. Scapular upward rotation. The serratus anterior contributes to the upward rotation of the scapula. This is vital when doing movements where you're lifting your arms overhead. Proper upward rotation helps prevent impingement of structures within the shoulder and promotes smooth coordinated movement. Scapular stabilization. This muscle helps to stabilize the scapula against the ribcage, especially during activities and of course exercises 
that involves weight bearing through the arms. This stability is essential for maintaining proper shoulder mechanics and preventing excessive movement or winging of the scapula. Think improving your bench press or your press ups. It's got two. Mm, actually, Homer, that's just one. Injury prevention. By stabilizing the scapula and facilitating healthy shoulder mechanics, the serratus anterior can help prevent injuries such as shoulder impingement and rotator cuff issues. It plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and function of the entire shoulder complex. Let's dive into the exercise. I'll let voiceover Vaughan take it from here, but I'll be back at the end to recap some important points. In this video, I'm using a black medium resistance band. They are color coded for different strength levels. These color codes may vary country to country, but these are the standard color codes for most countries. It's better to start light than too heavy in this exercise. You can easily change resistance by changing your grip position on the band, you can adjust band length by wrapping them around your hand, or you can combine bands together. For this exercise, first off, place the band around your back, just underneath your armpits. Here's another view so you can see it more clearly how we get started. Cross the bands over. So the left side of the band will go in your right hand, the right side of the band will go into your left hand. Crossing the bands over our body ensures we engage the rotator cuff muscles and helps prevent too much chest activation. Another benefit to our shoulder girdle and posture. Here's phase one, the press. Pressing the bands directly overhead, raising our shoulders off the ground. Let's see it from a different angle. Pressing the bands overhead, getting that scapular protraction, pushing those shoulders towards the ceiling. Phase two is the scoop, where I'm trying to get my hands down to the floor, driving with my thumbs leading the movement. If you can't get this full distance, that's fine. Just work in the range of motion you can currently achieve. Let's see a few reps done together. Bringing the elbows back to the floor, pressing the bands directly overhead, raising the shoulders, and then scooping the thumbs down to the floor in the shape of a V. One more rep, press the bands up, pushing those shoulders towards the roof, thumbs back down to the floor if you have the range of motion. Here's some important tips while doing this exercise. When doing the scoop part, do not hunch your shoulders towards your ears. You can see a repetition here as we push up and we scoop back and you can see the shoulders moving a long way towards my ears. Here's a couple of good reps. You can see that the shoulders are staying a lot further away from the ears so actively think about keeping those shoulders away from your ears. If you can't manage that easily at first just do a shorter range of motion. This will prevent hunching your shoulders up towards your ears. If your neck feels a little bit uncomfortable during this exercise, rest your head on a book or a yoga block. Aim for three sets of 10 to 15 slow controlled reps two times per week. Start with a light resistance to ensure correct technique. Often muscles we are working are very weak in this area. If you use too much resistance, it's easy for other muscles to take over. So why did I choose this particular exercise over all the other possible exercises out there? As I mentioned briefly at the start, this is the one exercise that achieved the fastest and widest results across clients with varied shoulder complaints. It's also an exercise that hits the rhomboids, the rotator cuff muscles, and other postural support muscles. Therefore, it's efficient most of us, including myself, don't have enough time to do a multitude of different exercises every second day of the week. It's also relatively easy to do, and it's actually quite a hard exercise to do wrong. Even with poor technique, you're gonna get some benefit. Now, if you already have a corrective strategy or shoulder stabilizing program that's working, great. I'm not asking you to change. But if you don't currently have one, or you're not getting results, then give this a try. Remember, the goal of this channel is to clarify and simplify so you can take action now. Remove the confusion and possible analysis paralysis. Until next time, keep moving, 
keep improving and keep your mojo alive. If you haven't already, please leave a comment below, press the like button, press that subscribe button, press the bell icon so you'll always be notified when a new video is released.